on the mutas and these uh, infestors on the ground. Yeah, Hydra has a pretty fierce army. Both players, of course, are maxed out. Uh, and I think a lot of this will just come down to the micro JP. Can these ghosts just ruin Hydra's day? Or will Hydra with this insane army just bust right through what Major has? Well, he's only got a total of six uh, ghosts in this fight. And if you look at the Broodlord count, he's only got four broods, but he's also got uh, these six infestors. It's, it's, well, there comes the MPs. Looks like it only oh. hits one of them. Oh, and the big fungal there as we oh, take man. another look at the infestors. Still got three infestors worth of energy. Uh, well, no, two, excuse me, but uh, Major's yeah, he, gonna have to pull back. He cast two or three MPs in there and really only got a few infestors. You know, if he had hit all of them, then that battle could have gone completely, completely differently. Yeah, here comes Edward moving out. There comes the Snipe taking out one of the Breedlords very quickly. Uh, and man, some ghosts going him. down. Yeah, I think, did he actually kill all of the ghosts there? No, not quite. Uh, killed a few off for sure, though, and some nice snipes now chasing these Broodlords away, finally. But I just bank right now. Look at that. 7.5k, yeah. 1k. That is, that is a scary be. bank. <laughs> that's, where, uh, all, that's where all Zerg players really dream about in this matchup. It'd be 22 minutes in, very close to 200 supply, and have that much money in the bank. Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of need it. And, you know, looking around at his hatcheries, though, he has a decent larva count, so he can actually refill pretty quickly. I'd love to see him throw out another hatchery or two, keep up on those injects so that he can really spend it and remax out if the worst happens and he loses this army. Yeah, yeah, and he's actually kind of repositioned uh, to come down this left left pathway, but Major is also repositioned as well. Where are all those ghosts? There we go, right behind the mineral line. Here comes Idra. He's going to use this uh, center pathway to move in with the broods. Gold base gonna be in a little bit of trouble here. One of the brutes going way too far, trying to cover a little missile turret almost there. It does go down, but as we see, these gold minerals gonna be very, very hard to mine from. Yeah, I mean, he's only mining with really four or five SCVs, and Idra does have another drop to really deal with. Uh, but he's going to be able to clean that up easily with the... Wow, Bailey's just destroying that drop. We need to clean up the medevacs. Oh. Well, we have like 17 ghosts right now with more on the way from Major. <laughs> so this is pretty scary. Uh, is. I'm not sure exactly how good his ghost control is going to be. He hasn't done the best ghosts yet this game. Uh, I've just been dealing with him quite finely. He's got a lot of infestors in here. And there we go. A lot of snipes going off right oh, now. Oh, look at that. But, oh, my God. Sickest fungal of life right there. Another fungal on the ghost. He's got to keep these ghosts alive. They're too expensive, too important to actually lose. And the Broodlords are starting to chip away at those uh, ghosts. We see the siege tanks coming out of siege mode. That might signal the attack. It looks like Idra is going to move in here with his forces. Oh, a huge EMP going down, hitting the front of those infestors. And Idra's going to have to fall back from this attack. Yeah, he may for a little bit, but he's going to remax out completely instantly. And look at this, he's still actually going to push forward a bit. Uh, only a handful of ghosts left, and Major down at 144 supply against a still 7.5k Hydra with almost a maxed army. And as these seed shanks die, though, I don't think that Major's going to be able to do anything. Hydra can switch back into Ling Baneling and kill Major off at this point. This game is just about over. Yeah, well, we see right there the ghost getting the fungals on the most of those uh, infestors, and there's the GG. He knows it's over. There's really nothing Major can do. I mean, right there at the end, it was about 100 supply difference. Uh, Idra had 7.5k in the bank with 1,000 gas, and Major had like 400, 500 minerals to gas. Just yeah. Idra playing really well, and I think a lot of that stems from uh, that mistake that happened in the beginning. Yeah, uh, you know, Hydra is just playing brilliantly, and he has won the winner bracket, so there's a good chance that Hydra will be the one moving on to the grand finals of this global invitational in Providence. Uh, Major will be dropping down to the loser bracket, but I think there's a good chance that we might see Major come back up and battle Hydra again. He's, his yeah. gameplay looked really good there, and the more time he gets to practice in Korea, the better he's going to become. Well, when we come back, we'll see who's working through the lower bracket. I gotta get rid of this fly artosis. It's enraging the hell out of me. I don't know what yeah. to do. I opened the windows for it. I was trying to be peaceful, but now it's Oh, it doesn't want to be more. out the windows. It must doesn't. be around you and your, your body spray deodorant. I guess so, I guess so. Maybe I'll get some ax and that'll scare him away from me. Maybe that's how it works, but. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. <laughs>
Guys, when we come back, we'll have some lower round action right here at the MLG Global Invitational. I'm JP, he's Artosis, and we'll see you guys then.